While Israel is a global frontrunner of technology and agriculture, a special program in the country's south trains students from Southeast Asia so they can help their own communities flourish. Take a look. The Arava International Center for Agricultural Training trains over 1,200 students from Southeast Asia and Africa every year in cooperation with Tel Aviv University. Established in the central Arava town of Sapir, through the support of the Jewish National Fund USA, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Ministry of Agriculture, students gain an invaluable education in sustainable agricultural technologies and agronomics, which includes learning about Israeli innovation in one of the most challenging regions of the country. The fellows will work in close partnership with their mentors and be awarded funding based on mutually agreeable benchmark goals. Alumni have continued to share Israeli technology and innovations in order to create agronomic opportunities in their home countries, bringing sustainable agricultural practices, water management, aquaculture, and cutting-edge technological training that they learned in Israel. The program's goal is to turn Israeli innovation into a sustainable growth model that will impact the fellow's local community and continue to utilize Israeli technology and innovation to maximize Israel's global impact. And joining me now with more details is Hani Arnon, Executive Director of the Arava International Center for Agricultural Training. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. It's my pleasure to talk about the ACAT program and share more details. It's our pleasure to have you. So how long have you been running this program and what organizations are involved in the Institute? Okay, um, um, we actually we established ACAT in 1994 with the support of the Israeli government, uh, the Ministry of uh, Foreign Affairs, the Ministry of Agriculture, and we have other partners in the, for, in the origin countries of the students, uh, the embassies, the, the Israeli embassy, and, and also the universities and official uh, ministry. And, and in Israel, we also have, uh, as I said, the Israeli authorities, and we have friends that believe in our project and support friends like uh, the JNF USA and, and JNF in other countries. So speaking of the students in this program, uh, where are most of them from? Are any of them from countries that don't necessarily have diplomatic ties with Israel? Um, actually, we have a multitude of nationalities and cultures and religions. And they are coming, all of them, from developing countries. That the main source of livelihood is agriculture. And they come from, I, I give you some examples because it's exciting. Um, they come from mainly in, from Asia and Africa. Countries like Vietnam, um, Nepal, uh, Cambodia, East Timor, Fiji, Vanuatu, um, uh, Indonesia. As you know, Indonesia is a Muslim country that Israel doesn't have diplomatic ties. It doesn't matter, but these people, they choose agriculture and they choose to study this in Israel because the Israel have a good name about uh, um, innovation in agriculture, about high technologies. And although they hear in the media, you know, they hear different things about Israel, they choose to come here and stay with us for a year to, uh, to study in a program that is based on learning by doing. It's theoretical classes, but also a practical. They get, they get the know-how in the farms, and they are part of the community. Actually, they become a family of the people who live in the Arava. It's obviously been a very strange year for all of us. I'm wondering, how has the pandemic affected your program? Yeah, actually, it's very strange. They completed this, the program in June, but they couldn't go back. So they stuck here, stuck, but they are very happy for that. And they learn that it doesn't matter if it's a, a crisis or if it's a, a peaceful time, every time and every country need food. People need to eat. So to be, to work in agriculture, it's necessary. And especially if, uh, if, you are, if it's a local uh, product, then you take care for the food security. I think the, the pandemic, uh, all over the world teach us that agriculture is necessary and our students understand that they choose a, a topic or they, they choose an occupation that maybe at the beginning it looks like a, it's dirty job, you know, work with hands,
but they understand the meaning and the importance of the agriculture. Sounds like a really, really special program. Thank you so much for giving us some insight into this on our show today. Okay, thank you.